Hey, hey, Melanie Nelson here, director of TLS, and I have some tips for you. In fact, 10 sneaky habits that can sometimes be a little bit unconscious and come into our uh 30 day jumpstart program and start creating, uh, you know, a slowdown in results. And, you know, if you're discouraged because your, your results have slowed down, well, then chances are you have a couple of these sneaky habits that just happen to, you know, sneak in. And so if you're doing one or more of these, chances are uh, that's exactly what's going to happen. And so let's talk about them. The first one is if you're skipping meals, which we know is just practically blasphemous here in TLS because we want to keep our blood sugars level throughout the day, keeps us in fat burning mode. And by skipping meals, we go into fat storage mode. And so we definitely don't want that. But also portions. Let's talk about portions. Who measures three ounces, right? I mean, or we're not a calorie counting program. So I use my hand. I was taught years ago, over a decade ago, in one of my very first TLS trainings to become a TLS coach, um, how to measure portions. And each of you has your own hand and you would use your own hand as a portion guide. Okay. So for instance, on my plate, if I'm in the 30 day jumpstart kit, we are not eating grains, right? So, um, this would be my protein serving. This would be my vegetable serving. And if I was in sure or steady or continued commitment, this would be my grains or my starch. Okay, because we get a little bit of that or dairy, depending on, um, again, the meal plan and the program you're following. And so this is your guide. And so if you look at your plate, what's on your plate? Okay, this is my veggies. All right, this this part here is my, my lean protein. Um, and so your hand is a guide and staying on portion sizes is really important. Sometimes uh, it is easy after detox to forget about our water intake. So a decrease in water intake can also affect our results. How about, oh, you know what? A little bit here or a little bit there won't really matter. <laughs> so adding sweeteners or coffee, creamer or sugars to your coffee because some of you uh, went back to that, right? And, um, you know, every little bit adds up when we're trying to get to our goal weight. Now, when you're maintaining, it you know, maybe okay for you to add a little bit of here and there back in. Okay, but we're talking about jumpstart program. We're talking about getting results. We're talking about our leanest, meanest, strictest program. Uh, late night snacking, right? Again, might be unconscious or it might be your husband comes and sits next to you with a bowl of popcorn or chips and you're like, just a handful or two, right? Just this, just a little. And so those things add up if they're starting to happen every day. Workplace snacking, in the car sneaky snacking are another examples of these types of little things that we do, right? We have these little stashes in the office desk or little stashes in the car console or, you know, someone brings snacks to the office. And that's why it's so important to have your TLS shake, your TLS shake muffins and things like that. So you have an alternative. Uh, we're not saying get rid of all of the fun things in your life. It's about replacing those habits, not getting rid of them. I am definitely a guilty of a late night snacker, but now I choose other things, right? I choose um, celery with a teeny little bit of peanut butter and a couple raisins on top. We call it ants on a log, right? So that's more my sure and steady. Um, or a shake or a piece of fruit. You know, those types of things are an option now for my late night snacking. Now. Maybe in phase two, you've kind of reneged on the exercise portion. Exercise just isn't for weight loss, you guys. It is for health and well-being. It is for vitality, your healthy posture, lifelong through. Gosh darn it. It's for a great sex life. It's for great heart health. It's for 
everything. So we definitely want to be exercising. How about TLS supplements? Have you forgotten to take your core, your daily essential kit? Um, are you forgetting to have your shakes as a meal replacement or a snack, right? So these are all little sneaky habits that if it's happening and there's a more than one of these happening can create a slowdown of results. Um, now, we're not struggling with this right now in this very moment, but eating out more. In fact, you know, no matter how clean you ask them to make it, holding the butter, holding the salt, holding the ranch, holding the cheese, um, these types of things, it's restaurant food. First of all, it's dead, so most of it doesn't have any nutrition value, and you're hungry very quickly and shortly thereafter, and portion sizes are often way too big. There's all kinds of issues with eating out. In fact, I have a great video coming up um, that will talk about tips on how to eat in a restaurant successfully, okay? Now, last but not least, we know that asking people to stop drinking alcohol for four weeks during a TLS program is a challenge. But if you have started integrating, oh, just a drink here or there, and you know, you just, here's what you need to know. Alcohol impacts your weight loss goals greatly. Health benefits alone can be worth having a dry 30 days, okay? The, there was a 2018 research uh, conducted by Royal Free Hospital in the, uh, released in the British Medical Journal showed that quitting alcohol for one month, one month lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol, leads to weight loss, leads to improved sleep, we all need better sleep, right? Lowers risk of other diseases, so it's very preventative. Decreases blood protein levels. And what that means is that um, basically that is being preventative or uh, being kind of protective around what could lead potentially to cancer. Improves mood and energy levels because alcohol is a downer. And so when we drink it and we stop drinking it, we have better energy, we have better mood, and guess what? It saves a lot of money. <laughs> so more than three drinks a week, or three plus drinks a week will literally stagnate your weight loss goals, especially around the belly button area because that's exactly what alcohol does. It bypasses the digestive process, pretty much goes straight to the liver, turns into glycogen, which turns into, guess what? fat. So we definitely, definitely just want to have a dry 30 days so that we are accelerating our results here and jump starting your TLS lifestyle. Can you go back to alcohol after this? Absolutely. But you committed to this. So stick with it. Be a champion. Finish what you start, right? That is the attitude. And um, I hope this helped you guys out. Thanks for watching.